In this lesson, you will learn how to determine whether two equations represent parallel lines, perpendicular lines, or neither, by using their slopes and y-intercepts. Let's start by focusing on parallel lines. The first step is to identify their slopes and y-intercepts. In this example, both equations are in slope-intercept form. In this form, the coefficient of x is the slope, and the constant term is the y-intercept. So, in the first equation, the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 4. In the second equation, the slope is also 2, but the y-intercept is negative 1. Next, compare the slopes and y-intercepts. Notice both equations have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. Two lines with the same slope, but different y-intercepts are parallel. Therefore, these equations represent parallel lines. If you graph them, you will see that the lines never intersect, confirming they are parallel. For a lesson on graphing linear equations, check the link in the description. In the previous example, both equations were in slope-intercept form, making it easy to directly identify their slopes and y-intercepts. However, in this example, the first equation is in standard form. In this case, first, convert the standard form to slope-intercept form by isolating y. Start by subtracting the x term from both sides. On the left side, these cancel out, leaving 3y. On the right side, you get negative 5x plus 9. Then divide both sides by 3 to isolate y. These cancel out, leaving y by itself. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now the first equation is in slope-intercept form. The second equation is already in slope-intercept form. Next, identify their slopes and y-intercepts. In both equations, the slope is negative 5 thirds, but the y-intercepts are 3 and 1, right? So, what does it mean when two lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts? That's right, they are parallel. Therefore, these lines are parallel. Now, let's shift our focus to perpendicular lines. Both equations are in standard form, so start by converting them to slope-intercept form. Pause the video and give it a try. For the first equation, begin by subtracting 4x from both sides. Then, divide both sides by negative 3 to isolate y. Now, the first equation is in slope-intercept form. For a lesson on converting standard form to slope-intercept form, check the link in the description. For the second equation, start by subtracting 3x from both sides. Then divide both sides by 4 to isolate y. Now, the second equation is also in slope-intercept form. Next, identify the slopes and y-intercepts. The slope of the first equation is 4 thirds, and its y-intercept is negative 2, right? The slope of the second equation is negative 3 fourth, and its y-intercept is negative 2. Now compare the slopes and y-intercepts. Since the slopes are not the same, they cannot be parallel lines, right? But notice that they are negative reciprocals. To check if the two slopes are negative reciprocals, take the reciprocal of the first equation slope and change its sign. If it matches the second equation slope, then they are negative reciprocals. The slope of the first equation is 4 thirds. Taking its reciprocal gives 3 fourths, and changing the sign gives negative 3 fourths, which matches the slope of the second equation, right? So, the slopes are negative reciprocals. Multiplying negative reciprocals always results in negative 1. That means 4 thirds times negative 3 fourths equals negative 1, because the 4s simplify to 1, the 3 and negative 3 simplify to negative 1, and 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. When the slopes of two lines are negative reciprocals, meaning their product equals negative 1, the lines are perpendicular. Therefore, these equations represent perpendicular lines. If you graph them, you will see that the lines intersect at a right angle, confirming they are perpendicular. Note that for perpendicular lines, the y-intercepts can be either the same or different. As long as the product of the slopes equals negative 1, the lines are perpendicular. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Now, it's your turn. Can you determine whether these lines are perpendicular? Both equations are in slope-intercept form, so you can directly identify the slopes and y-intercepts. Now, check if the slopes are negative reciprocals. 
We can write negative 4 as a fraction, negative 4 over 1, right? Taking the reciprocal of this gives 1 over negative 4, and changing the sign gives positive 1 fourth, which matches the slope of the second equation, right? So, the slopes are negative reciprocals, right? You can also verify this by multiplying them. Negative 4 times 1 fourth equals negative 1, right? Remember, when the product of two slopes equals negative 1, the lines are perpendicular. Therefore, these lines are perpendicular. What if the slopes are neither the same nor negative reciprocals? By the way, soon you'll apply the concepts from this lesson to find the equation of a line that is either parallel or perpendicular to a given line and passes through a given point. Make sure to check the link in the description for more details once you finish watching this video. Both equations are in standard form, so first convert them to slope-intercept form. Then identify the slopes and y-intercepts. Now, ask yourself, are these lines parallel? The slopes are not the same, so they cannot be parallel, right? Then, ask yourself, are they perpendicular? The slopes are not negative reciprocals, so they cannot be perpendicular, right? Be careful, although these slopes are reciprocals, they have the same sign, so they cannot be perpendicular. If you multiply them, you get one, not negative one, confirming they are not perpendicular. If the slopes of two lines are not the same, and they are not negative reciprocals, then the lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Therefore, these lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. What if both the slopes and y-intercepts are the same? The first equation is in standard form, so start by converting it to slope-intercept form. The second equation is already in slope-intercept form. While the first equation was in standard form, we couldn't directly see that these equations are the same, right? But now notice that they are indeed the same. Both have a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of negative 3 halves. They have the same slope and y-intercept. Two lines with the same slope and y-intercept are called coincident lines, which means they represent the same line. If you graph them, you will see that the lines completely overlap. Therefore, these lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. They represent the same line. Now, let's look at some special cases. What happens when there's no x term in the equations? How can we determine whether the lines are parallel or perpendicular? We can write these equations in slope-intercept form as y equals 0x plus 2 and y equals 0x minus 3. From these, we can see that both equations have a slope of 0, right? The y-intercepts are 2 and negative 3. Notice, they have the same slope but different y-intercepts. Therefore, they are parallel lines, right? In fact, for such equations, graphing makes it much easier to see whether they are parallel or perpendicular. Remember, when y equals a constant, it represents a horizontal line. So, y equals 2 is a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 2, and y equals negative 3 is a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at negative 3. As you can see, the graph confirms they are parallel. In general, if the two equations are in the form y equals a constant, they represent parallel lines. Now, let's flip the scenario. What if there's no y term in the equations? What do you think? Since there is no y, these equations cannot be written in slope-intercept form. But remember, when x equals a constant, it represents a vertical line. So, x equals negative 4 is a vertical line crossing the x-axis at negative 4, and x equals 1 is a vertical line crossing the x-axis at 1. As you can see, they are parallel lines. In general, if the two equations are in the form x equals a constant, they represent parallel lines. But what happens when we have a mix of horizontal and vertical lines? Are these lines parallel or perpendicular? y equals 3 is a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 3, while x equals 5 is a vertical line crossing the x-axis at 5, right? As you can see, they are perpendicular lines. In general, if one of the equations is in the form y equals a constant and the other is in the form x equals a constant, the lines are perpendicular. Vertical and horizontal lines are always perpendicular to each other. 
To learn how to find the equation of a line that is either parallel or perpendicular to a given line and passes through a point, check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.